We have the Lil 8, an easy, quiet plug and play 3D printer on Kickstarter. But what is so special and why is it on Kickstarter? I don't know. The pledge goal is almost 25,000 euros. I do need to check because I'm going to play this. So, okay, so there's only music. Okay, so what this video says, it printed a lot of things. Also the T-800 skill, a calibration, the torture engine. I see this, everything comes here. The printer isn't moving at all. So that's interesting to see. Maybe doing this. This looks much better. Compact and super easy to use. So whisper quiet, less than 20 decibel, real footage and sound. We designed the little little eight little little mate to be simple first step into the 3D printing technology by keeping its carefully selected features focused on delivering a great 3D experience for our new adapters. Key features, easy to use, whisper quiet, plug and play, ultra low power, the active community and examples of creations from our little mate testers, specifications, close up look, closer look, that's what I'm doing right now. Addition, portable power supply, I think every power supply is portable. I mean, take your Ender for example, if you take the printer with you, the power supply is going with you as well. I mean, you don't need to have a power station for that, right? A USB Type-B connector, I see here. Bowden tube design. This looks like a plastic extruder. That a coupler here, if they are using the normal coupler. But why a diamond? Features in at a glance, easy to use, whisper, silent, plug and play, energy efficient. I didn't need to say that the anti-lever is pretty big. You and your little mates can create the most powerful things at the press of a single button. Really? One press? Easy as one, two, three. Okay, so step one, download your prepared makes to the provided SD card. Put your model on an SD card. You put the SD card into a printer, go to your file and then start printing. Basically, every printer would be the same as this one. So why is this one special? So you can prepare the objects yourself or down, download prepared models through supporting websites. Step two, turn and press the control knob. You can do that too on your Ender, I guess, until you find what you want to make. Step three, little mate, create what you want. When it is completed, you simply peel off your creation from your little mate magnetic sheet. Is that the one that they had on the earlier Ender 3s or some printers? So this printer is a little bit more than your breeding. So little mate only needs a little power. Yeah, well, the thing is, if the machine isn't big, then your heat bed doesn't have to be big. Your nozzle also don't need to have that much heat. So with my ec 3 dx one I can, yeah, I think this is sim something similar. The little eight draw around the 39 to 43 watts of power when running, about the same as your phone charger. This makes the little mate extremely energy efficient and cheap to run. So this is connected to the 3D G8 community. Take a closer look. Yeah, that's what I always do. So it has, of course, a LCD screen with huge numbers on it. A memory card slot front, in case you didn't know, that's the front. Magnetic sheet, filament feeder, that is called extruder. Bone and tube, control knob, power port, 11 by 11 by 12 millimeters the specifications the weight is less than three kilo kilograms nice 12 volt power supply printing speed 40 millimeters per second yeah definitely uh heat range 180 to 220 degrees celsius the noise level is 12 decibels so with the heat range i would already say it's very very similar like the uh, easy 3 dx one so that is nothing special layer resolution 0.2 millimeters i think that is most recommended lots of diameters 0.4 and the kit accessories two two times pla filament rolls uh filament holder yeah how else would you feed the printer a magnetic bed always handy you know sd card uh, sd usb adapter i think we all have seen those things before usb card cutters tweezers tweezers as well screwdriver and a wrench
Really? They do provide two spools of filament. How much? Wow. Doesn't look too bad. Portable power. Some of our prototype testers live in areas where power is not consistent and drops out very so often. Do they have also a power resume function? Most 3D printer printers power dropping out even for a second means Whatever you are making will need to be restarted. Wait, what? Your little mate can have an optional add-on that provides a 3-hour UPS. Uninterrupted power supply to prevent power outages from ruining your creation. Now, I think more companies need to do this. I mean, there are a lot of printers having the option power resume, which is sounds very nice and very decent but on the other side you know what you're going to get if you're printing on glass if the temperature is going to drop by power power outage glass bed cools down your print pops off you still need to uh, print a new one so why would you ever need a power resume function when your print pops off the build plate after cooling down i mean also with that one if it cools down if it is cold i can just take it off doesn't do anything the optional add-on to provide a power supply uninterrupted power supply that's a good thing i didn't see the uh that the heat bed is heated it's just a print bed by hundreds nil eight pledges in high density foam mat oh Okay, so I'm surprised from where is this project? Oh, Sydney, Australia. Ah. So if I'm if normally this kind of projects are coming from China. Yeah, made in China. Still made in China. Oh my gosh, little mate. Yeah, of course, it's in the name. So super early bird price, of course, 559 Australian dollars. The first 100 units are currently being quality checked in Missouri, USA, Sydney, Australia, Rutenberg, Sweden. These are already made. So that's nice. You will get a level 8 base unit, 2 times 200 grams filament toolkit. The multi-purpose filament holder. Multi-purpose. Hmm. What else can you hold on this filament holder? Some other little nice things. But this one is 749 Australian dollars. This is also the same kind of kit, but then with the power supply. So that is great. And that one will be shipped in May of 2022. So that's great. This video is supported by these awesome Patreon supporters. Lloyd Moses, The Lightspeed, Fixing Dude, Carl Fenton. You guys rock. Thank you for that. You can also support this channel by checking the Patreon link in the description of this video and becoming a patron of this YouTube channel. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time. And let's make awesome things with 3D printing. Zagri 3D Prints. Bye bye.